Hello and welcome to the tutorial about answering background questions. Background questions, as you might remember, are frequently the kinds of questions people bring to a topic when they are unfamiliar with it. Sometimes, though, they are also the kinds of questions whose answers you might add to the background section of your paper. The answers can provide the rationale for your exploration or, or research. Sometimes the answers can come from journal articles, but especially for the more basic questions, there can be better sources, and that's what I'll talk about here. Background information often falls into these categories. Think about questions like, what exactly happens if someone has a stroke? How many people experience depression? What's the standard intervention for sensory integration disorder? How have changes to licensure affected delivery of care? So where do you look for answers to these kinds of questions? Here are some common sources of background information, and in the next few slides, I'll go more in depth into each of them. First up, health-related organizations. These are typically not-for-profit organizations that frequently have education as one of their missions. The top of the list are professional associations you might join as a healthcare worker. These are great sources for basic information about the topics your profession cares about and from the perspective of your discipline. Hospitals also often provide information about different conditions and treatments. The content is usually aimed at patients and families, but can be a great source for basic information. If you work for the hospital, you can likely get to their practice guidelines as well. Finally, advocacy organizations. These tend to be focused on a single issue, and that laser focus is helpful in bringing you more in-depth information about that issue. Next, government agencies and non-governmental organizations, or NGOs, are great sources as well. Again, they often provide basic information, but they'll also frequently have statistics, which can be difficult data to get your hands on otherwise. Point of care resources like these ones pictured are great sources for overviews of conditions, treatments, diagnostic tools, etiology, and prognosis information. They can provide a great overview to help you get started. Finally, the library collection. And not to be too arrogant, but the library collection has lots of materials you can use to answer background questions. Textbooks, encyclopedias, reference materials. You might just have the perfect thing. So that does it. We've come to the end of this introduction to finding answers to background questions. The answers you get from background questions give you the information you need to make your research question work, whether it's basic information about the topic itself or contributes to the rationale for pursuing the topic at all. These sources can be helpful in getting you started and helping you pull the whole project together. If you have any other questions about these kinds of sources, or if you'd like help identifying sources for your particular questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. This link here brings you right to our Ask a Librarian page.